channel guys I'm here again to share with you another topic so our topic for today is about uh, shipping all your household items from the United States to the Philippines and we were thinking about either renting a container or just send all balik buy-in boxes the question is is it worth it to bring your Appliances from United States to the Philippines. Appliances, for example, the KitchenAid. And I did some research regarding about KitchenAid mixer. They cost around maybe 25 to 30,000 pesos in the Philippines. If I can only buy here for 10 or 15,000 pesos. So it's really worth it just to send it instead of buying it in the Philippines. Alright, I'm here on Lazada website and I am searching the price of KitchenAid mixer and I found out that you are going to end up paying 28,000 pesos or more than that. About a bolts I know United States only one ten bolts and in the Philippines 220 to 40 bolts so the solution that you had to do what we were planning to do is to buy a converter here I am again on Lazada website so I searched for the price of converter step down to 110 and the price is between 500 to 1500 pesos all right so make sure you guys buy a bubble wrap especially if you have some uh, our fragile item for example our plates cups we're on the stage now of boxing most of our household i will tell you later what we put it inside showing you how many boxes so far we had at home and currently we are still boxing including my cat so i have six boxes at first and then now i have another three box we are aiming at least 15 boxes well, let's talk about uh prices if you are going to choose a renting container van or balik bayan boxes i am thinking to send about 15 boxes and shipping one box to the philippines is around um, 90 dollars that's including the pickup and they'll give you a return boxes price if if i'm adding 15 boxes times 90 dollars and it's gonna cost me only about $1,350 estimated but if I'm planning to let's say I go with one 20 foot trailer I did call one of the four waters and they're asking between $5,000 to $7,000 so I was thinking what else I should put inside the container I mean should I bring my car or should I bring our bedroom sets I mean I don't think if it's worth it to bring your car or your bed or your couch to be more practical we did choose to send 15 boxes that cost me only 1300 instead of paying $7,000 okay so let's talk about what did I put in, in each boxes uh, all our camping stuff from United States that we use from the past when we still have enough time to do camping so we're gonna plan to bring that in to go to the beach or for example going to the mountain so we have something to you it's also worth it to ship some alcohol like my husband like to collect some uh, like tequila vodka whiskey scotch so I put a lot of alcohol in each box regarding about household items for example like towel bed sheets it's really nice quality if you get it from united states and 
already shipped there. If you guys uh, like to repair your clothes and you know how to sew, well, I'm bringing my sewing machine. I know it's 110 volts, but it's really worth to buy a converter step down for my sewing machine. And we have some boxes that pretty much the whole thing inside is like a Christmas uh, ornaments, Christmas items. I know I can find that in there, but we do have some memories. I live in Washington State and uh, most of our clothes are for, for winter or for autumn. And for sure, we might end up traveling to the Asian country and we're gonna keep our um, clothes, our boots and stuff so at least we have something to use when we visit the other Asian country. And uh, regarding electronics, I think um, what we're trying to bring is just my computer and we have a router, internet router and we got as well wireless microphone I seen that the back it works on 110 to 220 and I do recommend to bring your own tools for example tools for your car and we're also trying to bring our um, plates that you know corral they cost a lot so we're bringing a bunch of those and if you guys have a ninja blender, I do recommend to bring that to the Philippines. It's really worth it, especially how powerful it is. And if you like to do uh, shakes, like a mango shake. And also, I do recommend bring a pots and pans. They are more cheaper if you buy in the United States. And they are better quality. I had seen before in the Philippines, one pans cost about 500 pesos to 1,000 pesos which is I can buy like three sets of those here we also planning to bring our cat essentials which is um, like their litter boxes we have spare of them and we're gonna send as well their small carrier so if they need to go to the vet they have something easy to carry and also don't forget to bring your favorite butt and body works hand soap or the uh, body wash or or spray i love them very much and if you guys are a fan of branded perfume uh, at costco every summer they do sell all those branded names of perfumes and they sell it for half off Hi guys thank you for tuning in hope this helped for your decision if you're planning to move there if you're going to send just public buying boxes or sending a whole container thank you for watching see you for my next video that's including the pickup and they'll give you a return boxes so now with the So our topic for today is shipping balik buy-in bags to the Philippines with all or most of your household items.